Welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast, where we interview experts in various fields with the goal of empowering women to make informed decisions about their health, life, and family. I'm your host, Amy Jane Smith, and I would like to thank you for tuning in today to get comfy while I introduce our next guest. Welcome to the Women's Wellness Podcast. My name is Amy and I'm your host. And today I am very excited to introduce Sarah, who is a past client of mine for the Holistic Core Restore Every Woman course and a current member of my Holistic Core Restore Heat program. And the reason I've asked Sarah to join me today is just to share a little bit of her journey, a little bit of her experiences before and during the course and how she's feeling now. And hopefully it will maybe answer anyone's questions that you may have about possibly joining the course about your pelvic floor journey and things like that. So I will let Sarah do the talking. So without further ado, (laughs) welcome. Thank you so much for joining me and doing this testimonial. Uh, you're welcome, Amy. Hi, I'm, I'm Sarah. I'm mum to three children, uh, the o- oldest yes. 10 and then seven and a little nearly two-year-old. Um, so my um, sort of journey, I've got, I've got quite a sort of running background. And yeah. after having my third child, I found it, it had to take a back burner. I just... Absolutely unable to run, which was quite soul destroying. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Um, um, sorry, did did you did you still run after your first and second? Was it just after the third that you realised um, you couldn't really? I suppose I ran quite a bit after the second child. Okay. Um, Yes, I've, I've got a, you know, my first child was born in South Africa and you didn't really want to run on your, <laughs> much in I South Africa, okay. safety, safety issues and stuff. Right. Um, but after the second, I was doing sort of half marathons and um, tra- training quite regularly. Awesome. Um, yeah. That's, that's a feat in itself, going out for running. <laughs> Anyone who knows me knows that I'm not a runner. 5K is my max. I'm happy with that. <laughs> but yeah, I admire anyone who can run further than that. So good on you. But yeah, if that's your thing, it's hard to take a step back from it, isn't it? How did you feel when, what was it that caused you to stop running? Um, backache. Um, okay. I used to get a uh, really severe lower back pain and um so the pain would shoot shoot down my legs oh. especially at night oh. um, so yeah yeah um, oh, that's not nice and how and, long were you having that for um just sort of on and off um running and walking seemed to to trigger it oh okay um, yeah mm, yeah so yeah running running wouldn't help <laughs> would it no no so what sort of things did you do to try and overcome the back pain uh went to for a, a lot of physio yeah uh, she so um my physio is helen she's a, she's a good friend of mine as well and um, she'd do a lot of work on my back and gave me a couple of stretches and it, it, it was sort of solving the you know not, not really the cause but getting rid of the pain a little bit but that would just keep keep coming back right so and the physio was alleviating the symptoms but not really getting to the bottom of it yeah yeah really, i yeah. also went <laughs> i also went to had x-rays done and scans and had injections and nothing really seemed to sort of help and no no one could figure out what the problem was Right. Yeah. Uh, uh, but <laughs> so was it was it your physio who mentioned the the program? Was it your physio? Who yeah. Mentioned? Yeah. I thought because I know yeah. Helen as well, and I think yeah. she said, "I think I I've, I've got someone who might benefit from your course." What yeah. was the conversation yeah. there? So she started to wonder if, if I had a little bit of um, separation. 
um, you know, in, in my in arms. Tummy. From, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so she she assessed me and she's like, oh yes, you, you do have a little bit of, of separation there, and uh, you know, here's Amy's card. You should <laughs> go go check her out. So I, I looked you up online, and I think might have. There might have been a form or something on your website. I actually can't remember. Um, yeah, it's been about a year yeah. ago now, hasn't it, coming up? Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you booked and you saw, you saw me in my yes. studio. Um, and yeah. how did you feel about coming to that appointment? What, what were your thoughts before you got there? Were you excited, apprehensive, just... Don't know what's going yeah, on. I had no idea what to expect. Um, uh, yeah, I, I suppose I was, just, I was just hoping that um, you, you you could sort me out. <laughs> yeah, uh, but it, it was a really good appointment. Uh, I, I learned quite a lot. Um, you know, it was really sort of fascinating to think that your your core and everything it's, it's all connected and doing breathing incorrectly and picking up your children incorrectly but well, not just children groceries everything yeah. just, just all, all contributed um yeah because helen told me it was telling me a lot about my posture you know, to keep my shoulders down which mm. helped but uh, i think the core you know getting a good strong core and and yeah working That's on it. that made the difference it makes so much of a difference just standing up straight if you're not strengthening the muscles that are doing it you kind mm. of go into bad habits again and like you said picking up and putting down and moving is a constant activity and if we're doing it all incorrectly even a little bit it can add up so yeah, yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you got something out of that appointment <laughs> good Yes. And you moved on to joining the Every Woman course. I did, yeah. No. With all the re really nifty, cool equipment, the, the Pilates ball and all the bands <laughs> and everything. When um, you saw that equipment, did I, I gave that to you on the day, didn't I? Or did I drop it off? Yes, yes. That was it, I had some with me. So how did you, what, did, what was your thoughts when you first started the course? When you saw all this equipment and it was... Ex like, and I kind of told you what we're going to be doing. Um, well, it's all equipment I've, I've never worked with b before. Okay. Um, so it was, you know, I was quite looking forward to see what you do with all these strange bands and things with handles and balls and, and a big long stick. <laughs> that was the most <laughs> yes. intriguing one. Um, yeah, like, what am I meant to do with this? <laughs> yes. Yeah. And it, it took a lot. It took a while. It's not, not like week one that you do anything with the sticks. So he kept us on our toes. I did. I did every week. It's are we going to use the stick this week? Oh no, it's it four. <laughs> and then yeah, it was about halfway yeah. or so. It was, oh okay. Yes. Yes. What did um, you like about the course as you went through it? What did you or not? What did you notice that was changing in your body? as you went through the course? Well, um, uh, definitely about the sort of six week mark or something, I, I, I noticed, uh, seemed to, I, I think from all the, the lifting of my abs and sort of stomach and everything, I, I seemed to lose a little bit of weight around the middle. Okay. Which was, which was really good. Good. Um, yeah. <laughs> and definitely, you know, wasn't waking up at three, four in the morning with uh, in so much agony in my back, like, oh, I, like I was wow. before. Yeah. So, well, that that was really good. Oh, that's so and, good. Yeah. I mean, I, I I haven't really got back into running yet since like, forever it feels like. But yeah. uh, like w walking doesn't cause any any pain anymore. So. That's really good. <laughs> yeah, actually thinking about it, one of our first conversations, were we, were we talking about walking so far and then you'd have to turn around and walk back 
in pain because it was getting too much. Was that, mm. that me and you? I can't. That's, that sounds familiar. I think yeah. it might have been me. <laughs> Slept since then. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really good. Because you live, you live somewhere quite hilly, don't you? No, oh, very hilly. Uh, yeah. my dri- it starts off with my driveway. <laughs> <laughs> good old Auckland or North Shore is yeah. full of hills. Isn't yes. It? yes. It's, yeah. You'll never be unfit if you walk around North Shore. No. <laughs> never, ever, ever. Um, so you've been able to walk since completing the course, mm. walk further without the back pain. Is the back pain been as severe as it was or is it completely gone or is it still a little bit there? I feel every, every now and then it might flare up a little bit, mm-hmm. but um, it, it doesn't bother me as much. And also I think a couple of weeks into the, the course, I, uh, I complained about back pain and you promptly uploaded a video with uh, about massa- how to massage it out. And then you also did a, a down training video. And I, I still go back to that um, when I'm feeling oh, a bit tight. And yeah. that's, that's really fantastic. Um, oh, that's really good. I'm pleased about that yeah. because, yeah, a lot of people... Um, don't realize when we do kind of pelvic floor and core coaching that if everything is a bit tight, then it can radiate into the lower back. So I'm really glad that down training Mm -hmm. helped because just relaxing, letting go is so important as well as the strengthening that Mm -hmm. we don't think about it until we're in pain and back pain can be one of those symptoms. Yes, yes. And I I think I tend to, because I'm a bit self-conscious of my sort of abs and then I, I know I tend to hold like things in all the time right, and yeah I've had to, definitely had to learn to just relax and there's, there's a time and place for sort of lifting everything but but also just to yeah. relax to um give, give give your muscles a break and yes um not, not make everything more tense oh yeah. I love, I love when I hear people say things like that. It's amazing. I'm the ideal client, aren't I? <laughs> ideal. Perfect. 10 out of 10. You can come back. Um, so since you've done that, um, were you having any other issues that you needed help with? Or was it mainly your lower back? And um, Yeah, something? well, it was, that, that was my sort of motivating um, thing. Um, yeah. But I... I uh, I've also been suffering a little bit from sort of minor leakage. Okay. Was but that I, during I've the always, running as well or was that other times? That's just sort of jumping and, um, yeah, mainly sort of jumping on the trampoline and, and, and that kind of thing. Running, not so much. Okay. Um, and I, I just sort of accepted that as, that's life yeah <laughs> and um, yep, you and every other woman <laughs> yeah 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 so um has did that get any better did that change throughout the course uh uh, uh, uh definitely um e- even at uh at night like i, I didn't re- i think with uh <laughs> it's kind of embar- embarrassing that at night I'd, i would not, not quite get to the toilet in time. Um, oh, okay. But I, I, I find I'm being much better in, the, in that front. No issues now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Because a lot of other people will be going, <laughs> oh, no, she won't be able to help with that. But, yeah, thank you for sharing that. It's just so important for other women to, to hear things like this and go, oh, I'm not the only one. Oh, okay. Mm. Mm. But yeah, and now you've finished the Every Woman course. So that was a while ago because you did it back in January. And it's a 12 week course. Yeah, so yeah. We survived lockdown and learned how to use Zoom together. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're on to the HEAT program. What was your, yeah. um, what made you choose to move on to the HEAT program? Um, I still feel like I need to be easing in to, to exercise. Um, the, the every, every woman course is actually 
like really gentle. It's mm. not a, a um, you know, it's not a hard and fast boot camp. Do, do, do mountain climbers and yeah, uh, thousands of burpees and 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 that kind of yeah. thing. So, um, yeah. I, I, and I'm not as yet young and <laughs> strong as I, I used to be. So, I, I still needed something sort of. Yeah, you know, fairly kind of gentle. Yeah, and, like a bridging of the gap. And, yeah, and there's there is a lot of sort of stuff you can even on YouTube and that that you can do do on your own. But uh, uh, videos on on YouTube and that. But if you're not doing it correctly and you don't have someone sort of guiding you and watching you, you can potentially sort of hurt yourself again uh, yes. so I'm enjoying I'm enjoying having you right with me in 6am sessions working hard yes it's really um, good and I mean I know you've said how how the muscles hurt and we're not even having impact we're not even jumping up and down or anything it's and I've walked mm. funny a couple of times after some sessions <laughs> it's good it's good to have have you do it with me um yeah so that's the, like you say it's a great bridging bridging of the gap because every woman is so gentle and focused it's so focused on you and listening to your body and learning how to connect to yourself that taking that and putting it in a full-on boot camp class might be a bit much of a leap but by going into that next step just to kind of ease yourself in and go, okay, I can do squats like this. I can do deadlifts or lifts with weights like this. And it's a lot, a lot more gentle mm. and still focused, but still, yeah. Yes. And there's a bit of tiny bit of cardio, which um, I'm a huge cardio fan. So I, I enjoy getting the heart rate up and yes. panting a bit. <laughs> yes, that's it. Well, I think I'll have to shorten the rest times and get get some <laughs> get the heart racing a little bit. Yes, please do. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. If anyone joins since after this video, watch out! It's going to be good fun. Um. <laughs> so, anything else? Anything that I haven't asked you? We're coming to the end of the questions that I had. Is there anything that you want to add that I might not have asked you? Um, and then I, have I one guess final question. The, the one thing that was interesting about the Every Woman course were, was my expectations and sort of what I wanted. Yes. Not, not in a bad way, it were kind of slightly different from what came out of it, but uh, in that vein, there was I did, there was a lot of learning. I just wanted to to look like a twelve year old again, <laughs> <laughs> kind of thing. But it, it's it's a lot more complicated than than that. And yeah, uh, um, you know, it, I, I like the way there was a lot of a lot of focus on just connecting with yourself, learning to understand your body and accept it for who, uh, what it is and, and just and and really enjoy it there was mm. a lot of uh, a lot of focus on, on on enjoying all the exercises and um yeah and it was interesting i, I always kind of thought to to strengthen your abs, it, it means do, just doing heaps of crunches. And yeah, I, I, I like that they were really different exercises, not not what you expect. Yeah, well, that's it. We use our we use our abs and we use our core just to keep ourselves upright. To quote somebody I saw on YouTube the other day, if we didn't have our core working all the time, we'd just be a noodle, which I thought was a brilliant <laughs> brilliant thing. Yes. That I heard yesterday. Yeah. And, so by making sure it's engaging in upright positions is just so mm. much more functional and supportive than doing the burny crunching exercises, which aren't very good if you do have that tubby gap. No, no. 
so do you feel more connected through the core it's less um there's less of a gap or is there less doming or anything like that going on now i think there's less of a gap uh i, I have to admit that i haven't sort of given myself a thorough, <laughs> thorough examination but yeah that's all right uh, yes yeah, so. but it's not you're not as are you as conscious about it as you were before a little bit, but I think I always will be. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm the same. I can, can sometimes not be, you know, I'm very critical. <laughs> yes, none of us are our own biggest fan, are we? <laughs> uh, well, thank you so yeah. much for joining me. Um, I do have one final question. What would you say, so you've, you've said a lot so far about um, your experiences and if there is somebody listening who is in the same position that you were a year ago and they're kind of not sure where to go what to do what would you say to that woman listening who's maybe thinking about joining the course do it <laughs> <laughs> done tick <laughs> um I, I, you know i think it's really a really worthwhile investment um, your 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 health and your core and that is is, is so important mm. that just because of the way our, our bodies have been made and it, it's all um, it's, your core affects just sort of everything yeah um, and having it all sorted and um, strong that is, is is very important and yeah. it just makes you you feel better <laughs> and and you can jump on the trampoline again with your with your kids Yay! <laughs> yeah. it's always something that i look forward to when people say like do you have a trampoline can you jump on it yes <laughs> oh that's amazing wonderful okay that finishes everything lovely thank you so much again for joining oh, you're welcome really really appreciate it and i will see you for our next class and i will yes. see everybody else in our next every woman course so thank you Bye. you're welcome okay. thank you for listening to the women's wellness podcast for links and show notes please visit www.connecthealth.fitness forward slash podcast i would love for you to subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we release our next episode and please share with anyone you think might benefit. Thank you again. I look forward to seeing you soon.